Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I decided to try something a little different and bring you guys an Easter recipes video with these Easter deviled eggs for dinner and jello dessert eggs. For the Easter dinner eggs, you want to put your eggs in the bottom of a pot. Make sure they aren't stacked on top of each other because this could lead to your eggs cracking or something going wrong. Then you want to fill the pot with cold water until it's about an inch over the eggs. Then it's time to put them on the stove top until they're boiling. After your water has started boiling, you'll want to remove them from the heat, put a lid on top, and let them sit for 15 minutes. When that time is up, drain the hot water from the eggs and run cold water on top until the eggs are cool to the touch. I added some ice to my water to help them cool a little bit faster. Now it's time to set up the dye. I just got this egg dye kit from my local Walmart. You'll want to put the tablets in your cups and add a tablespoon of vinegar or water. I use vinegar for more vibrant colors. Then you wait for the tablets to dissolve. After the tablets are all good to go, you'll add half a cup of room temperature water to each color. Now it's time to add the eggs! My first attempt here, I tried just cracking the shells to help the color seep through and left them in the dye for 10 minutes. When I peeled the shells from these, I was a little bit bummed. The eggs weren't anywhere near as dyed as I wanted, so I peeled them all and slipped them back in the water for another 10 minutes. If you like that speckled look, however, I'd suggest leaving them cracked in the dye for a longer period of time. And if you can, I'd try to get that membrane that's in between the egg shell and the egg white cut somehow so that the color can really seep through. This time, the eggs were way better. Now it's time to make the deviled eggs. First, cut the eggs lengthwise and pop the yolks from the middle. Be careful not to rip the egg whites. You'll kinda need these. Now you want to smash the egg yolks. Then you'll add a quarter cup of mayonnaise and one teaspoon of yellow mustard. I then decided to add a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up and to kind of fight that vinegary taste you'll get from dyeing the eggs to begin with. Now fill the eggs. For the last step, you just want to sprinkle some paprika on top, and then you're done! Now on to the dessert eggs. Start with some boiling water, then take a cup of that boiling water and add your jello mix into it. Stir them together until your jello mix is completely dissolved. 
Then you'll want to add another cup of cold water. Next, I found these egg molds at Walmart and filled them with the Jello mix. Then I put them in the fridge to set up. This part took the longest by far. It can take Jello a good 45 minutes to an hour, maybe longer to set up. Once they're all set up, take some whipped cream and put it on top of each egg. Kind of like you did with your egg yolk mixture in your dinner eggs. Then it's time for your dessert paprika. I used red crystal sugar and sprinkled it on top. Ta-da! You're all done! I hope you all liked this different type of recipes video. It's my first one I've ever made, so I hope that it was helpful. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know if you'd like to see more recipe videos like this in the future. If you make these for yourself, be sure to tag me in a picture on Twitter or Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!